Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91 bringing you this video on a hot topic right now, Irrational Games, and my thoughts about it. Irrational Games, they're basically the studio that made Bioshock, or at least they're most famous for ma na making Bioshock. Now, before I start, I'd like to honestly say I've ne I don't think I've ever played a Bioshock game. Because I, when Bioshock first came out, it was a little too gloomy for me. And um, the only Bioshock game I was really interested in was Infinite. But I guess because I didn't play the other two, I was like, no, I'm not going to buy Infinite. But this was a real shocker because Irrational Games seem to be doing so well right now. And I was actually wondering how, because like, they laid off about over almost 200 employees. That's a big thing. That's like when your business is failing. And I'm like, so what's going on? And you read the article, which I will have in the description below, and you realize it's because the owner or... Um, not sure actually if he's the owner. Once again, I haven't played any of these games, so I don't know. Ken Levine, the director of Bioshock and Bioshock Infinite, um, he had a vision for a game distinctly different than the one from the previous. He wanted to make a different type of game, it seems, so he wanted to create a whole new studio, basically, um, and make, I guess, bring on, I don't, I don't know whether he's bringing on people, but I can assume he's going to bring on people who know how to make that particular type of game he wants to do. So basically what he seems to be saying is that he didn't want to make either any more Bioshocks or no more first person shooters. He sounds like he really wanted to make a game that's completely different than anything he's made before. So he really just fired everybody, not fired, laid off because he was like, I need to start anew. I need to get new fresh eyed minds here who, uh, who know what I want to do or something like that. Now let me, let me, I, I, my thoughts on this are like just bittersweet again, because yes, you're the director of the company. If you want to steer the company in a different direction, that's fine. I mean, but you just fire, uh, laid off about nearly 200 people. So it's like these people now don't have jobs yet, and hope and I hope and pray they find jobs soon. But still, I mean, do you nearly 200 people just because you want to go a different way? I'm not downing Ken Levine for this, but still, it's it must be hard. And he he admitted that it was you know no right no right way to lay off people. And the thing about that is though, it's like me. Let's say I owned a car company, and let's say um, it became more famous than Ford and any any of them. It started to sell better than them than the bigger car companies, even though I'm not paying as much because. You know, my, my, my company isn't as big, but everybody wants to buy cars from my company. Now, let's just say one day, I walk into the office, and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to make cars anymore. I'm going to change, I'm going to change all my buildings from cars to planes. And, that, and because most of my people who work don't know how to build planes, I'm going to have to fire almost all of them and hire some plane builders. And... That's kind of what Ken Levine is doing. He, at least I, I think he's doing, because it seems like he is saying, "Let me. I want to go a completely different direction. So let me fire all these people who know how to make first-person shooters or like Bioshock games, and hire new people that know how to make the games that I want to go in the direction of." So it's not bad, but it's just like random, and it's very different than what you usually hear. Usually you hear layoff because something's not doing good. As far as I know, Irrational Games was doing good. I mean, Bioshock Infinite was seemed to sell well. All those games were selling pretty well, it seems. So it's like, people aren't safe when the company's doing bad. People aren't safe when the company's doing good. I mean, I mean, I bet I bet most of those employees were dead shocked, because this came up pretty abruptly. It seems like something that Ken Levine kind of just thought of just to do. Like, one day he just woke up and was like, you know, I don't want to make games like this anymore. Not that that really happened. I'm sure he had this in mind for a long time, and he probably didn't go along with it because Bioshock was doing so successfully. And that's another thing. He could have gotten trapped that way because people do get trapped that way. Honestly, you, you, let's say you start something for a reason. Start something. Let's say you start a fast, I mean, a restaurant chain, and you want it to be healthy. You want it to be healthy food. But... You live in a place where people don't really eat healthy food that much, so you start to sell like fast food, and people love you. And then you start this whole big chain, and you have this fast food chain, but all of a sudden, it's 
it's the opposite of what you wanted. You didn't want a fast food chain. You wanted a healthy store and you have the opposite. So you're like, one day you're like, all right, all employees, you got to go. I'm making these chains into healthy food chains instead. Technically, that could have happened as well. His original vision could have been blurred when he started to make money off of Bioshock. So he just kept wanting to make more Bioshocks just to make more money. And then after Infinite, he could have been like, you know, this is not what I wanted to do. These are not the type of games I wanted to make. I want to go a different direction, and I will. And he says that, um, he actually said that, um, like, starting a new company, let me actually give you the quote for that. He says that starting a new studio, a risk um, they added in he was prepared to take. So the thing is, he can only take that risk now, I believe. I, I, he, I don't think he could have done that at the beginning. I mean, I mean, I mean, well, technically Irrational Games was the new company, but I'm talking about after, like, um... He's released Bioshock, Bioshock 2, and Bioshock Infinite, Infinite. So now he's gotten money from those, and he could be, um, you know, completely. He could just um, um, t make a new studio because he has the money now. He has the safety cushions, le leverage, I think. So like, it's bad for all those employees that got fired, but you can't exactly down Ken Levine for wanting to go a vision that he originally went, uh, that he seemed to originally want to go with his company. Still, though, it sucks for two, for over 200 people who lost their jobs, and it's just a curveball. It was a massive... I mean, when I heard this, I was like, wait a minute. The company that made Bioshock is laying off people? I was like, okay, something's wrong here, because I know they're not... They're not in the... They're not like... It's not like when you hear Sony is laying off people for its PC division, because the PC division hasn't sold much, or like when you hear that um, any company, really, that um, doesn't make good games... Or that makes a game that bombs. When you hear about that, they're laying off people. That that makes sense. But this is just a shocker. Anyway, what's your thoughts on this? I mean, should have Ken Levine had kept his people and just made more games, or is it good that he's following whatever vision he thinks he wants to follow? Or, I mean, just give me your thoughts on that. All right, this is Fiend Frenzy 91. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. God bless.